I want to teach kids robotics the same way I learn. The best part was that we got to cheer for our team and cheer for other teams and have fun. It's just like the basic of robotics. You had to learn math, science. You just got to know how to function your robot. The, robots, the robot is dancing. That's why we call it boogie, uh, Robo Boogie Bots. As the rest of the world challenges America in math and science, and minorities and women continue to be underrepresented in science, technology, engineering, and math fields. Hundreds of Brooklyn middle and high school students have been competing in robotics competitions to help reverse those trends. In order to get the robot to perform the task that they would like it to, they need to learn the underlying science and math. Uh, but then they come to after school. They come to us until 5 o'clock, two days a week. And they're happy to stay even longer. So, I mean, like that kind of commitment for little kids is really great. Students can grasp very elementary scientific concepts that they should have already learned but aren't so solid with. Uh, definitely the most exciting part is the team relationships that they build. That seems to work really well for them and the problem solving. So they form a team, they get into problem solving, and that helps them to increase their communication skills, in my opinion. Um, learning how to program and researching on the um, human eye. From being a consumer to a creator is very important to, to us as a foundation, clearly is important to the university. And the fact that we have thousands of young people in school in Brooklyn who don't have the opportunity to make that leap, well, we want to do something about that. Since NYU Poly started its STEM outreach program in 2007, students are not only more interested in STEM subjects, but they have improved in the classroom too. So I've seen a lot of success in, with the kids. You know, I've seen them develop um, a stronger interest in STEM education. Some of the fourth graders that I worked with the first year have gone on to junior highs where they actively participate in robotics programs. Well, now that I'm in the robotics league, I really do want to become an engineer now because I learn like building and putting things together is fun and I would love to do that now. Uh, 
uh, skills in uh, communication to non-scientific audiences in order to help them uh, manage their time better, provide them uh, all kinds of other uh, professional skills. I don't like the word soft skills, but rather professional skills that typical graduate programs don't necessarily provide to them. Uh, and also the K-12 teachers get deep and sustained professional development by being part of the program for a full year. So the way this model works is uh, graduate fellows and uh, teachers have uh, training in technical material over the summer. Graduate fellows have some pedagogical training in the summertime. Uh, and then the graduate fellows are de uh, deployed in K-12 schools for at least 10 hours a week working side by side with the uh, K-12 teachers to bring their exciting science, technology, engineering, and math content in the classroom. And we do that using robotics as our uh, uh, focus. Now, as a typical academic, uh, uh, we don't do programs just for the sake of doing the programs, but we also have to measure what we are achieving. So this year, uh, we are in uh, 22 schools, uh, impacting close to 1,700 uh, students a large majority of whom are uh, African-American. Uh, by, by and large, they qualify for either uh, reduced price lunch or uh, free lunch. Uh, over the last two years, we have done some extensive evaluation of the student achievement. Uh, our external evaluators have collected data through teachers, and uh, the data shows that for close to about 1,800 students, uh, about 72% uh, improved in the STEM disciplines by either a half or a full letter grade uh, in their uh, achievement. But beyond that, in a number of the lessons that we have created uh, to teach in the classroom STEM disciplines using robotics, each of these lessons also do extensive uh, assessment, and we have statistical uh, proof that uh, there is significant uh, achievement of student uh, uh, knowledge, student uh, awareness of careers, uh, so on and so forth. So now, let me pass it on to Lindrick, who will give you his perspective.